going on guys, Arix here, welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And in this one, I want to put together a quick guide as I do every time there is a festival on all the important quests you should be doing. Factoring in now that some of these quests are available for PC players, I've now grouped these into two different sections. The very first one is going to be quests available to both console and PC players and then at the end I will focus on the ones that are only available to console players. For those of you guys on PC there's a lot of new quests you should be doing and plenty of things for you to be going after during this festival. So if you guys do enjoy this, do you find it helpful then a like would be super appreciated. Of course don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss our future videos we've got more stuff coming your way very soon. Now to begin with, as mentioned, these quests are available on both PC and console. The very first one is the Pearl Snatchers quest. This is the quest you need to do in order to get the Pearl Spring Alpha headgear. And for this, all you need to do is deliver six Pearl Spring macaques. Following on from there, we then have the quest Trophy Fishing. This one will have you hunt two bear toadises or two bear toadai. I don't know which one is the plural for that one. Either way, upon doing this, it'll give you the parts needed to craft the Spear Tuner Greatsword. So uh, if you want to fish or a kind of giant spear tuner as a greatsword, then do this quest. After that, we then have the brand new quest Flora Frostbite. For those of you guys that want to get the Wyvarian ears as the uh, helmet, this one will have you deliver 10 ice blooms. And upon handing that in, you can of course get the Wyvarian ears. If you want to find out more details about that, you can of course check out the video I uploaded earlier on today. Moving on from there, we then have the quest Every Hunter's Dream 2. This is the first part of the uh, weapon design contest. Winner, this one will have you hunt or capture, should I say, a Coral Puke Puke, and in doing so, you get the parts needed to graft the Wiggler Palico armor and weapon, which is uh, incredibly awesome. Meanwhile, if you jump over to Every Hunter's Dream 3, well, it shall have you hunt a Nagakuga and a Nightshade Paolumu, that'll give you the parts needed to craft the Black Eagle Charge Blade, and also don't forget that the tickets you get from this can also be used to upgrade the Wyvern Ignition Greatsword. After that, the quest 50 Shades of White will give you the parts you need to craft the Guild Palace weapons. Now, if you haven't seen these, definitely check out the video I uploaded before this one because I go over all of those. But long story short, they are very cool weapons. While on console, they may not outperform the Safi Jiva weapons. On PC, they'll be some of the best weapons that you can get right now until Rajang and Safi Jiva come along and they just look incredibly cool. So definitely do this quest. The next one, beef is never a mistake, is the question you need to do if you want to craft the well done drumstick hammer. So if you basically want to whack monsters in the face with a meat hammer, then uh, this is what you need to do. Meanwhile, the quest RE Return of the Bioweapon is the uh, Resident Evil themed quest. This one will have you hunt a Black Veil vale Valhazak with some rather fun mechanics. And in doing so, you can craft the Claire Alpha Set, the Leon Alpha Set, and there are also some pendants as well. And then finally you have the quest A Shocking Climax which will have you hunt a Zenoga and a Namiel and this gives you the parts you need to craft the new Space Red Hammer, the one that looks like a giant jet engine. However, one thing I forgot to mention in the previous video, the tickets you get from this can also be used to upgrade the Dante Charge Blade, the Gaybolg Insect Lave, which is the one from the Final Fantasy event, and the Witcher Sword and Shield. So for those of you guys that have been holding out because of course you would have seen the upgrade tree present but we didn't know up until now how to upgrade them, this is the quest you want to be doing. You get red tickets from this one and you use those tickets to upgrade any of those weapons and also craft the new hammer. So this is relevant. Of course if you haven't done that don't forget you'll need to go back and do the low rank quest or the high rank quest should I say to craft them but once you've done that this is the quest you want to be doing if you want to upgrade those. So that is the complete list of quests that will give you armor or weapons that is available on both PC and console. So for those of you guys on PC wondering what you should be doing, turn your attention to those quests. Meanwhile, if we then jump back over to console, these ones are available specifically for you. We also have the Duffel Duty quest, which was introduced in the last festival event. This is what you'll use to craft the Duffel Penguin Mask. You then have the quest Scores of Oars, which is against a Tempered Bracadios, which is what you need to craft the Pickaxe Longsword. The quest A Chilling Entrance against a Black Velvet vale Hazak and a Velkana is what you need to craft the awesome Ninja Scarf, the one that has Resentment on, and two very nice level 4 slots. That is a very nice armor piece if you haven't got it. Not only does it look incredibly awesome, incredibly anime, it is also a very good piece of gear. You then have the quest Muscle Monkey Madness, which is against the two Rajang in the arena. And in doing so, you can then craft the Buff Body Armor Set, one of my favorite armor sets. If you guys didn't catch the uh, comedy video I did on that last year, then uh, definitely check that one out. But basically, this turns your hunter into a buff 
character, both male and female, and you can of course change the pigment to match the skin tone of your character, so it is of course applicable to everyone, so grab this one if you haven't done so. And then finally, for the PS4 players, we have the three Horizon Zero Dawn quests, the first one being Into the Frozen Wilds, this is what you need to craft the Storm Slinger prototype light bowgun. You then have the Survivor Quest, which will allow you to upgrade that to the Adept Storm Slinger prototype. Plus, you can also get the Shield Weaver armor set and the Frostclaw Palico armor. And then finally, the Firebreak Quest is what you need to craft the Banuk Alpha armor set and the Aloy Bow upgrade. So there you have it, that's a rundown of all the quests you should be doing during this event, during the uh, Appreciation Festival. Make sure you grab those, grab the items you want, grab the armor, the weapons, all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys will be going after, and of course, be sure to keep it locked for plenty more. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.